Now let's look at Fiddler. Fiddler is a free HTTP specific capture tool. So we can, from my computer here, open up a web browser, browse to a web page, and it's going to show us everything that happened over HTTP. So here we are, we can see it, it even captured the update check it does when you open Fiddler. So let's open up a web browser. And I'm just going to navigate to my own website again because it's fairly simple. So here we go, it pulls up. And we see that everything that happened is now listed in, in the list here. So first we have the original HTTP request of the default page. We can see it has various information about it. So here's some um, header information. Uh, here's you know further header information. Here's the text that was sent back. Um, so all types of information about this this page. Any cookie information that was available, etc. Any if authentication happened. Um, we can come in here. It can give us some estimates of how long it would take to get to this page from. There's, this request would take from various locations. But let's come down here. We see we have a, you know, we pulled a JavaScript file here. Here's a JavaScript file. So if we come back and we can see all the various information. Here's the header information. Um, here's it's pulling up a form of JavaScript here. But all the various information about these specific requests. If we come down here, here's a, a image file on my page that's, the TechEd logo. So here's the, you know, the TechEd image. Um, so you can see all the various things that happen. Let's delete these guys, and then let's uh, let's go to pluralsite.com. We'll see the difference between using Wireshark to look at this HTTP traffic and and Fiddler. So we see here that it's a lot easier to understand what's going on with Pluralsight. So at Pluralsight, we get a 301 response that redirects us to. Um, redirects so we get this document moved it redirects us to a 302 plural site at plural site dash training dot net at 302 sends us to plural site dash training dot net slash Microsoft and here's where we start to get all the various resources for that page so all types of great um, great information here about the various HTTP requests we're, we're doing let's go into the tools uh, fiddler options Come over to HTTPS. We see by default it captures HTTPS traffic, but it doesn't decrypt it. So first, let's go to our the Plural Site sign-in page. Wait for that to pull up. Come down here. We'll see it, all this HTTPS traffic, but uh, it doesn't quite have everything we want. If we come back in here to Fiddler options, we say decrypt the HTTPS traffic from. We're going to do it from all processes. We say OK. I'm going to close out Fiddler, reopen it back up for that change to take effect. And then we do a hard refresh on that page, just so it pulls has to pull all this information again. Come in here to this HTTPS connections, and we'll see that we got a lot more information about it. It was able to decrypt all that data that happened. Come in here to headers, and we can see all the headers that happened, even though those headers were encrypted in the in the regular network capture tool. So all types of great things you can do here with Fiddler. I'm not going to dig too deep into it, but it gives you an idea of here's a tool for a very specific protocol. It's able to give us even more information, uh, more useful information displayed in a better way than a more general purpose tool like Wireshark would do.